Hello and welcome to another video. I am back from the same day because, like I said in the previous video, if you have been watching the series, uh, I am just doing just 15 minutes every single day and drawing just anything. Uh, in the last one, I did clothing on a character, so I actually spent a couple hours just drawing a character. Actually, yeah, just to refine the work and everything. And then afterwards, uh, you didn't get to see that process, obviously, because I try keeping all that to myself. But uh, previously, uh, I just do rough sketches, obviously, like I said, with this uh, with this brush. Uh, have the opacity all the way up, and this brush has it, so then it gets overlaid. Most people think it's uh, it's kind of weird for uh, for most. To draw uh, with opacity kind of halfway but I actually love it for sketching sake uh, in this attempt we'll, uh, we'll be drawing the one bat that's what it's called and I'm gonna clear out just doing rough sketches so I could practice afterwards uh, before I do the sketch because the last thing I want is to give you guys uh, out there bad content so let's get started with the video really quickly hopefully it won't take too long you should have 15 minutes plus so let's do this five four three two wait actually i don't even have a, a, a mental picture of what i want to do with the wombat uh let me think i have one now okay five four three two one let's start uh, let's have the one by its body kind of laid kind of flat and then do this one. I guess thing bigger and this will be the, the back portion the legs will be kind of like laying flat I guess kind of like if he's just laying uh, I'm not sure which uh, how they put the legs for plane, so I'm just gonna rough it out. Maybe uh, maybe something like that. Obviously, this is a very rough sketch, which is supposed to be uh, just kind of purpose. Actually, it kind of looks like a baby just crawling. <laughs> now that I think about it, so yeah, let's just have like this one uh, wombat kind of crawling. Ears will be like that, right there. Also, here, uh, I, I didn't see a tail. All the images I didn't, uh, and all this rough, and all the reference image is I didn't see no tail. I'm not gonna draw a tail unless I saw one. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be very very accurate because if they do have a tail then I will have drawn a tailless wombat I'm sure if that's a thing and I have a little thing right there uh, issue that extrudes a little so like comes out extrude <laughs> like if I'm 3d modeling And that is how it is. And then that would be the nose right there. Okay. Uh, that looks kind of weird. That's just to get the overall. That kind of looks like a piggy and they found something. <laughs> Uh, let's bring this down. Let's do another rough sketch over it very quickly this time. Zoom into it and maybe see if I study up on the one bat. Okay, I need to see. Okay, now it has the cheeks, it also has this little mouth piece right here. Is connected to its nostril right here. And I 
shade the nostril. Not the mouth. Kind of looks like a chipmunk at this uh, from this point of view. So, I'm gonna have that sort of look. Um, then folds up here. And I like a flat head there. And what else? Cheeks. Very rounded. So it's very cartoonish to what I'm drawing, obviously. Uh, have the ears kind of fold a little bit forward. Not sure if they can fold their ears, but have them folded. Kind of like if it's begging or something. Like pleading. And I'll just have eyes kind of around here, really roughly. Of the eyes kind of looks like the bows actually. Um, more like a line on there, and then that doesn't look like a straight up one. Now it looks like the one that is kind of sleeping, kind of like this one is. Um, find that cheek. Um, Fortunes. I'm not sure if they have like feet or something, like what they do have feet. I'm just gonna darken this part out because that's kind of how it looks in a lot of the references. Um, And then back leg kind of soft through here. Now that, and now that I have refined some of uh, the proportions, I notice that some of it kind of looked off. Because of uh, foreshortening, that looks a lot better. That's a somewhat decent looking one bat, right? <laughs> So no, I've never drawn a wombat until today, so. Uh, okay, right here, kind of looks like it's really big. Okay. Uh, and then shade this area out. Add some basic shading around. Where do I want the light to come from? Uh, I want the light to come from like this direction. So all of this now be shaded. This portion right here is not gonna be very shaded, but I have some sort of shading. This is a chic and uh, roundness of it. Oh, the light hits that portion, but it does not hit. And this definitely gets caught, uh, like blocked out by the light. How is that for one bat doing? Whatever post that is. <laughs> yeah. And we find some of this really rough lines. Um, maybe.
think I keep doing this. Uh, like the, uh, the, the idea of like practicing the sketch a little before uh, we're going into it. I noticed lately, every single time I do that, it just comes out a lot better for you guys. So now that I got the basic understanding of how the, bo uh, the body of a wombat works, somewhat, I'm uh, not 100% sure. He has a tail, we kind of like that, I guess. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now let's add some color to that fur. Like usual, uh, this time I'll go with this brush and then I'll pick something on the brownish side, light brown maybe. Yeah, something like that. The previous drawing, I did this technique where I just did the select tool and then selected it all. I think I got more than enough time to do it. This. Uh, get cocky and then do it. But I'm not sure if, uh, if it will show end up the process if I did this action tool or not. I was showing uh, it by a lot. So. And then I walk it. So then I have basic shades. And black out uh, maybe this brush uh, and go even darker Okay, very bright, uh, towards the yellow, I guess. Okay. I'm getting some basic colors out there. Put some light there, not too much light. It gives it like this overall feeling of it being three dimensional. Even though it's not, it's really two dimensional. More shade. Uh, maybe this would be shades in the. Just like throw, uh, throw different uh, color uh, splashes of brown at this point. It gives it like a natural. Uh, for like textures uh, of like different colors, like with the light bouncing off of different edges, it can it's like different colors uh, as certain, uh, certain objects. And now it's starting to look a lot better, but it's not quite as dark, it's like a darkish kind of blue ish tint. gray that it has. Yeah. Normally I would have suggested to do this on a different layer, but I am kind of in a time crunch. I'm doing this right here. Yeah. In this color uh, where the light is somewhat. But then I add darken it up a little and then do it where the shaded area is. So, uh, so it's like a mixture of like browns and blues and stuff. Obviously this area is all darkened up with light. And then I'm gonna select this color right here, get 
a very nice color just to give this a little bit more form bounce light and stuff and and then I might go for a very dark so right there and right in there got okay. shape maybe some room lighting right here Gives it like a nice sort of as against something kind of look, and then I'm gonna put like a desert like background behind it, obviously, behind the color. So it'll be let's pick this and then that. It's like if you're staring down at it, essentially. Except the eyes will be pro uh, this eyebrows will probably be lower. I will think about it. Staring down at it. Uh. Yeah, that seems more accurate. Okay, let's go to this and add like a little something like that to it. Oh. That's pretty much it, but I'm gonna do like a really rough uh, pass of this brush right here and then boom, 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 boom. I learned this technique, and uh, uh, it doesn't really <laughs> kind of give a nice uh, look. But it's supposed to uh, kind of give out the impression that there is rocks that are casting some sort of shadow. Although, I think the rocks will be casting the shadow the opposite direction. And I feel kind of silly doing, uh, doing it all over again. Timer's already up, like usual. I'm going over uh, overboard by just a tiny amount. Not by a lot. Hopefully, you guys can forgive that. Um... Let's see. Yeah. And then I assign it really quickly. And I use this right above everything. Make sure. It is always good to sign your work, but some at uh, the majority of the time I don't sign my work. Like the 15 minute sketch, I don't sign it. I don't like the signatures where I accidentally press too hard, so I, I got to like constantly work on it. Okay, that's, uh, I'll leave it like that, and then obviously the, the cropping and everything like that, I had to make sure it looks like it could be put on Instagram. Uh, so like the right size, what size would it be? Uh, 10, 80. By 1080, I think it was. Wow, that is. My drone is small. <laughs> so I'm gonna select everything except the signature really quickly. So just click on something, press A, shift, and then select the other thing. And then uh, I'm gonna scale it right here. And boom. Just like that, and then the signature I could always just move out of the way. Put it right there in the corner. That is my attempt at drawing a wombat. If you did like it, just leave a comment down below saying that you did like it. If you did not like it, then leave it's like down below also. Oh, I mean, like, if you liked it, leave a like, not a comment down below. But then, you guys know what I mean at this point. It's kind of, it's kind of on and off repetition. Uh, 
for like all the YouTubers. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful video. Sadly, it took over 20 minutes just to do the video. But thank you guys for everything. And have a good one.